What's up, Bone Squad? I promise I have a good excuse for being away. I apologize and we'll get back to it. But first, roll intro. What's up, Bone Squad? DboQ here, back with another Top 7 video. And I know I've been going a little over a week, but I have an excuse for you guys. I promise it's legit. I had to restore my computer. My computer crashed. I had to restore it back to factory settings, meaning I lost everything. I lost future thumbnails, future top seven script, just everything. I lost my intro, all that. So I need to try to get my intro back. Hopefully I do get it by this video. But hey, I'm back. I, I won't let that keep me down. And I'm ready to give some good content back to you guys. Get back in the rhythm of dropping content for y'all. So today we're going to be talking about top seven things you could buy on the deep dark web. Without further ado, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and enjoy the top seven lists. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number one is dead spirits or child spirits. You can apparently buy dead spirits on a deep dark web, but I don't know how you would put a price on like a certain dead spirit. Maybe one's demonic or the other one's not, uh, but you buy it with bitcoins. For those of you that's not used to the deep dark web or the dark web, the currency that works on there is bitcoin. So just like Amazon takes credit cards, this is Bitcoin. That's how currency works on the dark web. But coming in at number one, it's it's weird. It's there to stay. It's creepy. But hey, what are you going to do about it? You can't do nothing about it. But that's coming in at number one. Coming in at number two is a pocket EMP generator. That's right, an electromagnetic pulse generator that fits inside your pocket. And it can fry devices like phones, computers, etc. Anything electronic nearby. What it's mostly used for is slot machines, electronic slot machines. You, you pop that baby by electronic slot machine and it'll give you credits inside the slot machine. What sucks about the device is that it's attainable on the deep web or you could, you could find out how to create it as well. But it sucks that it's there because if a big businessman has somebody that they had to fire or something like that, they could easily create this go back to where they worked, press the button, and then screw up their bosses or the business hold by their computer, it'll fry it, everything. So what sucks to know is so it's attainable, that it is attainable, and that from what I saw, it's kind of easy to make. But it, either way, it's attainable on the dark web, and I just think that's crazy. Coming in at number three is a hitman. I know a lot of people don't know about the dark web, but those that do know, already know about this and other things on this list, but you could actually hire a legit hitman for you. As, as you can see in these pictures right here, they have numerous different assassins group or just lone assassins for hire on the dark web. Locations like the assassinations market. It's also unsure how many of these are actually hitmen or how many are just kids or even adults just trying to pull a leg or something like that. But either way, it's crazy that you could attain such thing. If you have an enemy that has money and they know how the dark web works, they could do this to you. So you better, better know who your enemies are and hope they don't have a lot of money. They have so many sites that it, it's unsure which ones are legit or even if they legit. But for sure, some of them have to be legit knowing how many of these sites are available. Coming in at number four is Risen or Ricin. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a very lethal poison. Like check out this picture right here. This picture shows the amount that it takes to kill somebody. You could easily mix it in somebody's food and they won't even know they were poisoned till they are dead. And I, I would imagine it's hard to trace because it comes from a bean from what I've read. And it's still attainable on the dark web. They have many different sources showing that it was when a 20 year old got arrested and put in jail for nine years for selling it on the dark web. But that just goes to show how crazy things and real things are when it comes to the dark web. Coming in at number five is legal professionals without ethics. It's basically what it says. It's professionals who are, are legal, like doctors who have their degrees or cops who've been swarmed in as a cop. Basically, they do things that make them crooked, like the cop being able to set somebody up and kill them and then frame it as being self-defense or even putting them away in jail for a long time by framing them or, or putting stuff on them to make them seem like they had something illegal. Or even the doctors performing late abortions, which you shouldn't do, but in this case, you could, if you have the Bitcoins and stuff, you go on a deep dark web and find a doctor who's willing to do this for enough money. 
there's a bunch of hearsay about it and it's very difficult to believe but it's definitely out there on the dark web and that's why it's on this list coming in at number six is grenade launchers or even c4 or big explosives those that know the dark web already know that illegal drugs could be bought illegal guns could be bought but that's why they're not on the list because it's very much common knowledge to those that know the dark web but a grenade launcher and an explosive or plastic explosives are a bit extreme and you don't know who you're selling to because there's no thing that says a terrorist won't come up to you and say i belong to this terrorist group whenever they're buying such things and that's what makes it kind of crazy because all these terrorist groups have these forums on the dark web because they're so hard to trace celebrating bombings that they done did or even the chat up plans for future attacks and the thing that makes it so crazy is it's very easily attained on the dark web and even though they say hey we don't sell to terrorists a terrorist won't come up to you and say i belong to a terrorist group they grab it or buy it with their bitcoins and then you won't know that you sold a terrorist weapon such as grenade launchers or c4 until the job is done which is pretty eye-opening in this case coming in at number seven is a few things because it categorized as the same thing it's stolen credit cards stolen Netflix accounts, fake passports, fake IDs, and even fake degrees to be a doctor, a fake doctor, or whatever you want to do. But knowing that the fake IDs and the fake passports are there, as well as grenade launchers and C4 kind of is scary. But it's there and it's not going anywhere because as soon as the feds take one website down, two more will pop up because it's hard to trace these IP addresses. And once they do take it down, they will pop up. So it's kind of like one step forward, two step back type of deal. And it's pretty crazy. Anyway, that's going to do it for this top seven, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Just to show y'all how big the deep web is, or the dark, deep dark web is, look at this picture right here. It shows that your, your internet explorer and safari or anything you use for Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, it's dark web's 500 times bigger than that, which is about 96%. And it's, it's crazy how big it is. There is a downloadable engine if you want to search the dark web called Tor. I do not recommend it because I had it. It slowed my computer down and you will run, run across stuff. And you'll feel guilty running across these things because you don't know if you did something wrong just by accidentally stumbling upon it. They do have, however, for those of you that don't want to risk it because I recommend not risking it. They have YouTubers that go on the dark web and make dark web videos and some of them could be pretty interesting if you're interested in learning more about the dark web. Anyway, that's going to do it for this top 7 guys. The person that picked this top 7 is right here. If you have a top 7 you'd like to see, leave them in the comment section below and I might end up doing it. Make sure to drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, please drop a thumbs up anyway because I greatly appreciate it. Let's shoot for five likes on this video i know we could do it bone squad we're strong we could do it and we're steady growing stronger if you're not subscribed subscribe become a member of bone squad that's what i call my subscribers we have family we'd love to have you and we're slowly growing every day follow my social medias and press push notifications to know when i post something because i post on my twitter instagram and facebook they're all at deboq d-b-o-q-u at deboq all the handles are deboq if you want to follow because I post on there when I do post on my YouTube channel as well as Twitter I post every time I'm streaming if you want to come see a new stream as well as know whenever I upload a top seven I post on Twitter Instagram and Facebook like I said at DeboQ that's where I post so you'd be the first to know and go check out the video and call first on the comments anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope y'all enjoyed it and peace be <laughs>